All right, we are going to look at a cathode ray tube. Cathode ray tube has a piece of metal here, piece of metal here, and all the air removed from it. This one also has a phosphorescent screen that'll allow us to see when charged particles hit the phosphorescent screen, it'll glow green. To fire it up, we have a Tesla coil here. The Tesla coil um, produces some high voltage electricity. Quite fun. Also, you can shock yourself a little bit. Makes those hand muscles contract. You can shock your wedding ring a little bit. Kind of fun to do that. Woo, fired up. But what we're using it for is the cathode ray tube. And you can see the green beam across or line across the phosphorescent screen. That's because electricity is actually traveling through here in the form of electrons. And we can see that with a magnetic field, we can cause those electrons to bend. Um, that helps us know that they're charged particles, flipping the magnet over. And charged particles will bend in a magnetic field if they're moving. So we know they're moving charged particles across the way there. Um, this cathode ray tube was also the first, uh, led to the first discovery of x-rays by Rose Jim and then eventually to the discovery of the electron by J.J. Thompson. And he found that no matter what type of metal he put in, the same particles were being produced. So that led him to believe that this electron must be part of all matter and thus maybe part of all atoms. It's still fun to play with. Ooh, oh, yeah! You might have had some trouble seeing the bending of the magnetic field, so I'm shooting this part again. I got a bigger magnet too, so you can see. Right there. You can bend the magnetic field. If I flip it over, now it bends up. Like that. The other side of the magnet, bending down. Like that. So, bending it in a magnetic field.